words are easy, you know, to say I'm loyal and everything else, but the only way to really prove it is that you're willing to give your life to the country. The government didn't trust us, and therefore we had a mission to try to prove to the American public that we're as American as anybody else. Maybe we look different, maybe we eat different, we speak a little different than everything else. But then uh, I live like any other American and, uh, you know, make a living, raise a family and everything else. My brother and I were the only ones here. Uh, the rest of the family was in Japan. Uh, we had some sense that uh, the government was going to do something. Uh, we heard uh, a lot of news about evacuation, but uh, the way they did it to us is that I was in a farm and they put a poster right on a telephone post, which was about 400 yards away. And we didn't know uh, it was there until somebody told us there was something hanging there. So we went out and looked at it. And it said when we were to evacuate out of the area. Uh, like being a good citizen, you know, we didn't argue about anything. And I ended up in uh, the state of Colorado in a place called Amachi, Colorado. We had some time, so we helped some farmers do some work uh, rather than being cooped in the camp. And uh, suddenly my brother comes along and said, Hey, Ken, you know, there's a recruiting team over here. I don't know what it is, but uh, I'm going to go down there. And it happened to be a recruiter for the Japanese language. They needed the guys out in the field as soon as possible. I don't think they had 100 people, uh, people with a language skill in the field at that time. Mm -hmm. So he said, this is a chance that we have to take to go in. If we stay in camp and did nothing, when the war ends, we will be again a second class citizen. And the only way to change this is that we got to show that we are good loyal Americans. I was uh, picked to be a part of this group of 10 that were being shipped overseas. And that's when they first announced that uh, we were going to be attached to the State Department doing propaganda. Leaflets dropping, uh, broadcasting, and whatever else that we had to do to uh, help the Allies. In the meanwhile, I, being the youngest uh, of the group and the most uh, <laughs> uneducated of the group, was assigned to do a prisoner's interrogation. So my job was to try to find out what was going on with them. Uh, we were trying to tell the people that the war was wrong. Uh, we blamed everything to the uh, Japanese uh, militarists and also the uh, people that were in uh, uh, money-making jobs such as uh, manufacturing ammunition and stuff like that. It was a decision we had to make, and some of the people didn't like it. They said that uh, my parents were in Japan, my siblings were in Japan. Now you're going to go out and fight Japan. They said, well, that's the way it is, you know. We're an American, and the only way to show that we are good Americans and to change things is that we have to go out and do something about it. I know it's, things happen during the war because you're either, you know, Either you survive or you don't survive. And you do things that you would never think about doing in a civilian life. And the other thing is you better win the war if you go to war.